Hello, welcome to our video on how to use Read and Write for Mac users. So in our last video, what we did is we installed this platform and now you're going to see how to actually use it. So here's the bar at the top. You'll notice under the setting area that there's tons of different settings that you can adjust. You want to probably start by going in here to the speech area and go to the edit voice. This will open your system preferences and you can actually pick through a bunch of different voices and by pressing play, it will play those voices for you. So if you go ahead and do that, it will change the voice. So I always recommend finding a good voice to start off with first, just so you're comfortable with listening to it. Once that's done, you can go ahead and close this option. And let's go through the, the menu bar here. So if you're in a Word document, you can use this one to kind of use a spell check. Okay, so that goes through your document and checks spelling. This one is a word prediction. When you click on it, as you type, in, type on your Word document, it's going to try to predict what you're spelling. So this helps with spelling. And it will put, throw the word up here and then it will help you fill in the rest of the blanks with the spelling. This is a dictionary tool. When you click on it, what it does is you can search the word. So you can double click on a word like videos, for example, and hit the dictionary tool. And then it will show you the verb, the noun, um, and it tells you the definition as well. You can also just go ahead and type a word in here. So for example, complain, and it tells you what it means, the verb, how to use it in a sentence, all those things. This is picture dictionary. So if the word has a picture uh, associated with it, it will come up. This is the verb checker. This is your play, pause, and stop. So to play something in your document, you can go ahead and highlight it and then press play. It will t and it will go ahead and read it until you hit stop. So sometimes it takes a couple seconds to read it, sometimes it's very quick. Another alternative to reading, I like to use this one when I'm on DC Connect, when I'm reading discussion boards. I just click on it, it's called Screenshot Reader. So you can go ahead and go over top of what you wanna read. It OCRs it and it reads it for you. Okay, and then when you're done reading that phrase, you can hit exit to get out of it. MP3 is an MP3 player for audio files. This is a scanner. This is a research folder, so sometimes students will add their own definitions in here. Um, so maybe if you're in like a health course and you have to learn certain tools that you might be using in the health industry, some students will take pictures of those tools and they will upload them to here with their own definitions. So it can help with testing, for example, or study purposes. Um, this is a translating tool, so it allows you to change your document into a different language. This one's a screen masking tool. It's really good for anxiety and also really good to narrow down what you're reading. So before I do it, let's go ahead into the settings menu here and go to screen masking. And what we wanna do is we wanna turn this color fully opaque and we wanna change the color to black just so it really dims the screen for us here. And then we want to take this to transparent so that will make this color not have a color. And then we want to make it a little bit thinner so if we hit, go ahead and hit close, and if you hit it, now your screen changes color, but you can still scroll down to see the text. So when you're reading, you can follow along this way, and it just helps with narrowing down what you're reading so you're, you can really focus on the words that you're trying to read at that time. And when you're done using it, you just go back up to the top and you hit the tool and it goes off. You can pretty much read anything that's under here. So Word documents, PDFs, PowerPoints, online materials. But it's always recommended that when you wanna use um, this to read a PDF, click on the PDF tool. And what it does is it opens your Finder menu. Okay, and the Finder menu allows you to go on your computer and find the PDF that you want to read. So when I'm here, I go on my desktop. If I go into Kate's NavP here, and then say I wanna read um, this PDF here, I would just click on it and hit open. And then what it does is it opens the PDF and it just allows you to click on text. So if I was to click on the text here, like this word here, it's gonna start reading from that paragraph and it will read it until I hit the stop button. Okay, so it's just an easier way instead of selecting all the text with your mouse and then pressing play, PDF Reader allows you to just click and it reads everything back to you. 
There's also some highlighters in here. Those can only be used in Word docs, but you can highlight some of the words that you think are important. So for example, definitions you might want to highlight. And then this collects all the highlights. And what it does is it allows you to source them in a different document. So for example, maybe if you highlight all definitions green in your document, and then you want to hire all the important facts in yellow, when you hit the collect tool, it collects everything and it will put it in a word, a brand new Word document for you. This erases any of the highlights you want to erase. So to do that, after you highlight something, you just click on the erase tool and you erase over the highlight you no longer want. And then this is a vocabulary, vocabulary list. So this just highlights any verbs, nouns, um, adjectives, any of that stuff in the document. If you have any questions, please visit your assistive technologist for an appointment. You can also email the assistive technologist in their email, or you can email assistive technology at durhamcollege.ca. Okay, and if you have any questions, please, please feel free to book an appointment with us, and we'd be more than willing to help you. Have a great day.